players who are just getting started and trumpet players who haven't played in a very long time and are trying to get back into the swing of things, it is important to understand that mouthpiece placement is very critical as it can affect various aspects of your trumpet playing, such as flexibility, range, endurance, and your overall sound. Hello everyone, I'm the Trumpet Technician, and today I'll be showing you guys how to properly set the mouthpiece on your lips. So let's get to it. So I have my trumpet mouthpiece here, and I would like to start off by discussing some things that you need to avoid in terms of mouthpiece placement. So number one, you never want to place the mouthpiece off center. Because when you go and place your mouthpiece in your horn, and you place your mouthpiece off center like this, then you look very silly. And we don't want to look silly in front of the audience that we're performing for. We want to look professional at all times. So avoid playing off center. Also, if you try to produce a sound with a mouthpiece off center, then you're going to get nothing but the lip buzz and you're not going to get a trumpet sound. So again, avoid off center. What you also want to avoid is placing the mouthpiece either too low or too high on your embouchure. And throughout my several years of trumpet playing, I would play with the mouthpiece placed too low on my lips. So I would have the inner rim of the mouthpiece placed on the red of my top lip, which buzzes. And don't get me wrong, I've had some success with this mouthpiece placement. Unfortunately, though, that led to some serious problems such as bad note accuracy and a very, very thin tone. And I'm going to buzz for you guys the note G on my mouthpiece. And I want you guys to listen to how thin the tone is. So yes, I'm able to produce a sound. However, the sound is very thin and we want a very full sound. So please, please, please avoid placing the mouthpiece either too low or too high on your armature. Now that you have seen the mouthpiece placements that you need to avoid, I'm now going to show you guys the proper mouthpiece placement for your embouchure. Do you guys see the hole in the cup of the mouthpiece? We're going to take that and align that with our aperture, which is where we blow air through. In doing so, we'll ensure that the mouthpiece is at the center of our lips and that both of our lips are inside of the mouthpiece. And since my lips are full, I have to tuck my lips in a little bit just to make sure that my lips are inside of the mouthpiece. Now I'm going to play the note G again on my mouthpiece, and I want you guys to hear how full the tone is now. So as stated before, with the mouthpiece placed too low or on the red of your top lip, the tone quality is going to be very thin because the top lip barely has the bottom lip to buzz against. But with both lips inside of the mouthpiece, the top lip now has the bottom lip to buzz against, which will give you that full sound. That's very thin. And that's a very full sound. So always remember to make sure that you align the hole in the cup of the mouthpiece with your aperture. That way, you can get a nice full sound. Earlier in this video, I stated that throughout my several years of trumpet playing, I played with the mouthpiece too low or on the red of my top lip. And as a result, that led to a very, very thin trumpet sound. And if you are a beginning trumpet player or a trumpet player who hasn't played in a long time and is trying to get back into the swing of things, it is important to know that mouthpiece placement is very critical from this point forward. And if you use the proper mouthpiece placement that I demonstrated in this video, you will recognize that your tone quality will become much better and remain consistent the more you practice each and every day. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. I'm the Trumpet Technician, and please enjoy this clip of me playing the Paul Hindemith Sonata with the proper mouthpiece placement that I demonstrated in this video. And I'll see you next time.